Accessing your recovery menu or even booting TWRP from SD card is a pretty simple process, but some of you have maybe struggled with this for whatever reason. Some of you, I know maybe your AV reset button has broken off even, and it's just made it almost impossible to access your recovery menu to maybe install some new firmware or back up your firmware even. So this video is gonna be showing you how to access these menus without the AV reset button. So maybe you're wanting to install some firmware using maybe TWRP. This tool is available for S805, S905 and all the different variants like the X variant, the W variant and so on. As well as that, it's available for the S912 as well. Now this is a really useful tool. It's a very good recovery tool for installing firmware and backing up and so on. But some of you have reported that basically the Avery reset button sometimes doesn't work and you can't seem to access it properly. Now that might be because your firmware is not rooted. It could be a possibility, or maybe your other firmware is just being a pest. I'm not entirely sure, but anyway, this video will show you how to bypass all that and boot into TWRP. So the first thing we need to do is install a program called Terminal. Of course, we need to be in the Android firmware, so if you can't actually access your Android firmware, and maybe your box is bricked or something like that. Unfortunately, you're gonna to have to revert to the USB burn until way of doing things. If you've got a Modric, of course. Now, if you've got a rock chip device, you'll want to use the appropriate tool for that. But basically, this is kind of a, a way of doing it on pretty much all Android devices, whether it's a mobile phone or whatever. This tutorial will work basically the same. So, like I said before, we need to go to the Play Store, we need to install Terminal, install that onto your Android TV box, and then the next thing we need to do, we need to load it up, of course. The next thing we need to do is just type in SU. You can use a keyboard, wireless, mouse, whatever it is. Just type in SU, click Enter. Next thing we need to do is type in Reboot, in the space, and then Recovery. The next thing we need to do is just press Enter again, your device will now shut down and then it should boot into recovery, either being the actual stock recovery that's on your firmware, or if you've got TWRP on an SD card, it should boot into that as long as it's compatible with your particular model or TV box or whatever it is. So there you go, much more convenient and it's probably more safer actually rather than sticking you know stuff inside your TV box to actually boot into recovery. I know I've stuck some metal objects into the TV boxes over the years, and yeah, probably not the safest thing to do. But anyway, hopefully this video has come in useful for you. If it has, don't forget to give me a like. Thanks again for watching, guys. You Don't forget to check out the website, mcuproject.com, the Facebook group, and of course, Twitter. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching, and we shall see you very soon.